I challenge you to a dance off. Hands off, no trash talk, no back walk. On the black top, just me, you, that's all. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Clash with Bando. It feels like ages since I've done a video. It has been ages since I've done a video. Been very busy. Did miss the recap for um, last week's uh, CWL round three, season three versus Dice or Barzies. Uh, German clan, they beat us at pretty much every level. Um, our nines did improve from memory, um, but did miss that. That put us at one win, at two losses, and this tonight I'm going to be going over our current win versus Team WBT 87 to 83. That's our top score, that's our highest score ever. Um, I think you're going to find more clans getting high end scores if they're going with the low uh, breakdowns of three and eight. That's all we could get this week. Uh, we had a couple of people out, so we didn't go any higher. Um, but then you've still got to have that one tier two minimum um, and up to three tier two three. So it gives you those lower bases that um, allows you to sort of get in there. So you can see here from um, Team WBT, they did fairly well on our town hall. Um, 11s, they took 8 attacks to get them. Bando 81B survived, Sir David Vice and player Wahad all survived. Now that was a 10 versus 10 versus Judd. Um, looking at some of the statistics, this was an absolutely perler of a war. Um, all our 11 hit downs were spot on. Uh, we did have a 6 pack 10 versus 10 from Doth. Um, that was a second hit, so it was on number 10. Um, so it was opened by Town Hall 9, then he three-started. Uh, number 11 was, uh, I think it was the fourth Town Hall um, 10 attack versus that base. I'm going to do a recap for that on a death of the Town Hall 10. Um, I will do that following this video, so look out for that. Now you can see there... Um, we had, uh, uh, sorry, it, it's it's late. It's always late when I'm doing these videos. You can see really, really good war. Our Town Hall 9s have absolutely turned around. It's definitely the best war in about 8 to 10 weeks. Um, you see lots of six-packs. MV Doppelanger, Wallace Hellas. Um, I think there was number one Thrasher and Manlet there down the bottom of the list there. Now, number one Thrasher coming in for his first war from down under. So the ACA definitely working well for us. You see some of our defense here. Um, the fresh hit counts for the, the nines versus nines was 10 in our favor to seven. So they did really well. It was just a couple of bases, three, three, four, um, and five on MV Dop requiring a town hall 10 hit down. Um, they just had a couple of bases they struggled on, and that's that's what sort of caught them out in the end because they did fairly well on um, Town Hall 10 versus 11. So you can see three fails from the Town Hall 11s. That's why the score was blown out at the end. Um, and there was one 10 versus 10 for these guys. I think, again, that was the second hit opened by a Town Hall um, versus Judd, so our Tier 2. It was opened by Town Hall 9, and then 3-starred by uh, Jeremiah, so well done there. Uh, they did have a couple of six-packers, I think, Sir Landon with a fresh six-pack, um, and another six-pack, Igor, and I think that was it, yeah. So they did struggle with a couple of the bases for our nines, and that's what sort of put them behind. You see there, Sanchetti, 27, took a four hits, and that was uh, Town Hall 10 clear. So basically, we had um, eight 9 verse 10 open, so all of the Town Hall 10s were open for the war, and um, where are we? All of the Town Hall 10s were opened, and it was only two Town Hall 10 hit downs versus 9, so we had a net effect of plus 6 attacks, but to have all of the Town Hall 10s opened for the first time in ages, it was amazing. Um, I personally was at work for a majority of the war, um, and... Uh, the help and talk and chatter was there. Everyone's pulling out to help, and um, it was a really, really good turnaround to have, um, to see it, you know, being able to sneak on and catch a bit here and there at work, uh, smokos and lunch times and things like that, and to see the progression of the night, it was really, really good. So you see here, um, Doth going in, this was a second hit. Uh, a couple of people did say, go bitch it. And it did have the Golem Loon in the clan castles. A lot of their bases did have Golem Loon. Um, they did have some dragons. They had some mixed mixed CCs. You see that giant bomb down the bottom there. Really bad spot for a giant bomb if it's been opened up, of course. Um, you see Jimmy Bob going in the middle there to get to that Inferno. Unfortunately, he drops down there before he gets it. But the bowlers do run in afterwards. They're still under that rage effect and they go nuts and burko. So... 
you can see the queen, she's down the bottom there, just pew pewing away. And uh, of course, the bowlers and witches up the top flank there, absolutely wrecking it. So, three witches down the bottom, queenie in the middle. Um, it was just a really spot on attack, fairly early in uh, the night. Um, so, it worked really, really well to get that three start out. Um, so well done Doth, I mean absolutely uh, awesome to see some more 10v10s. Um, we had 8 attacks to be able to do 10 vs 10 attempts. So that created a lot of people talking, um, planning, looking at reviews, all these kinds of things. And it worked out to being able to get the first war in, I don't recall whether we've had another war where we've had 2 Town Hall 10 vs 10. So... Season um, two, we were getting one towards the end of the, each week, um, but of course, uh, yeah, it's it's certainly picking up. So you see, Doth here going in with a hero sacrifice, couple of wizards, um, and a baby dragon is going to get thrown down as well. Jimmy Bob runs past. That's perfectly to plan. Um, this is the one I'll be reviewing. Sorry for Death of the Town Hall 10. So Jimmy Bob runs perfectly past there. He's going to be running into a Tesla farm. Four Teslas under that town hall. Um, he's going to trade out for all four of those. Queenie, she's going to get that Inferno. She's going to get the cannon. And then she is going to run in and get that bomb tower. And that's going to absolutely change the pathing for the future Hounds and Loons. You can see there, um, three on each. Three fingered, three loons. We've dropped... 15 of the 30 odd loons to start with and that's the telling part of this raid you can see they rush through and those loons path through into the midfield there you see and he drops out that uh, heel gets a rage double skeleton spell absolutely smashes that queen in midfield that other bomb tower is going to be doing nothing he's just going to stand there and you can just see how many loons are left absolutely smash it two unpopped hounds Jimmy Bob still going hardcore, running around the outside until he finds the giant bomb. But to have him for 80% um, of the raid is absolutely massive value out of those heroes. Probably um, a little bit risky of a base for a tier 2. That's more of a um, sort of max tier base, in my opinion. So great war there, Do uh, Doth. I'm going to go show one of each of the attacks from our six packers for the war um it doesn't mean these were the only guys that did well we had so many people getting the three stars and getting close i think there was around half a dozen attacks that were 90 percent plus um i know i had a couple of 90 percent pluses and give me the shoots you're seeing a lot more of these arch towers as well 150 dps at town hall nine absolutely massive really silly spot to put that clan castle um free draw clan castle and you can see here mv dop using a queen walk go vaho um and drawing out that clan castle just drawing it along and saying hey go and puts it into a mortar range only and that is a great use of a free draw clan castle also another video i've got ready for release i've got to get it out there um have been unable to upload for a little while and i should be able to smash out a few videos this week what have we got here? So it's a queen walk. The queen looks like she's going to be going counterclockwise. No, clockwise. Skeleton trap down the bottom here. Um, Queenie does actually turn around and run. So both skeleton traps coming out early. Being no real use to this base at all. Uh, maybe expects a lot of um, uh, cold blooded go hogs into the army. I'm guessing. And then that way, expecting hog tails from where, uh, where MV Dops attack so really good analysis of this base you see the enemy queen in midfield there causing a bit of grief but old queen walking queen he still has the ability is going to walk through so mv dot took the fresh six pack for the wall uh, really impressive um it's nice to get some some flow out of our town hall nines again it was really really impressive uh, i can't say it enough um we had a you know, we're two for two now. This was the first um, division war, so it was an important war in effect if it comes down to being a drawn list at the end of the season for finals and all those kinds of things. So let's have a look now at uh, number 19. We see Manlet. Um, and this was a stoned go hog. Uh, where are we? So Beck got um, Beck's on MV. This is Dynamo on Manlet, uh, I think. Now you can see Stoned Gohog um, does an early 
The amount of hogs. Wow, four hogs at the start. That's mad. Do we see the free clan draw? No. So it doesn't draw that clan castle. I always do say to my people, if you've got a free clan castle there, draw it. Absolutely draw it. You see the outside traps there for the uh, witch slaps. These guys did do quite a few slaps. So, baby witch must have been a Valk as well in the clan castle. So not a really big tail. Using four hogs at the start, absolutely soaking up the amount of um, leftovers. But it was a fresh hit. No, no, this was a re-hit. Troll Tesla. You see, most of the bombs avoided by the um, hogs there, which worked well. Just enough cleanup to go. Queen's still there, full life, did use ability. So, well done, Manlet. Good war, six pack, of course. So that's that one, that one. Where are we? Let's go to number 24, Uit number 24, and this was Wallace taking a six pack. Normally pretty good returns from Wallace. Another free clan draw. Now this is this is good. So Wallace has gone in with a lava loon, but the intention is to draw the clan castle. Drops out a loon, says, right oh, what's in there? It's a hound. So he'll leave that. What have we got? Baby dragon down. Old Jimmy Bob down, Queen down, so you see he's going to do a sacrifice here, he's going to be aiming for the Archer Tower, the Wizard Tower, the Mortar, the Air Defence. That's a really good sacrifice, you're getting three high value buildings, Ooh, what do we got here? Trying to push the Queen in as well. Oh! <laughs> so, unlucky on the wall breakers there, another trap, um, giant bomb causing the Queen to not go in, otherwise this would have been an absolute whitewash. So what does he do? I honestly haven't watched this, I haven't had a chance, I've only just flown home. So old Queenie is out of there now, you can see he's got a Rage Skeleton spell for the enemy Queen. Jimmy Bob finally cops it. Enemy Queen now, she's on half, she's um, had a few pups sacrificed. Now what I liked about this was we didn't have a lot of units around the Queen. So he didn't rush into dropping out that skeleton spell rage, and that was hugely important. You see all the hounds gone now. No real red traps there. The expo is going to take a few loons down while it sinks, but uh, that is a fresh hit, was it? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wallace, yes, fresh hit. Thank you, mother, for the rabbits. Well done, Wallace. Great war, six pack. And a really good use of the um, free draw clan castle. One more to show. Where are we? Let's look at Rocky. This is number one thrash. This is his first war in AA CWL. One of the DU members, so the ACA working well. Um, this is one of his extra accounts. Now you can see he's gone in with a queen walk, baby dragons, loons. So um, I don't actually know what people call that. But um, where are we? I just flicked on to have a look which army looked different and thought I would show this, commentate without it. Look at that, drops a loon down, tests the free draw clan castle, now knows he's got a hound he's got to deal with. Wallbreaker set. That's ballsy, that is very ballsy. This was a uh, fresh hit, and uh, number one thresher did take the fresh six pack. One ground expo, one air expo. Now you can see, once that's down, what have we got left? Has he got any haste loons? No haste loons. Wizards are killing <laughs> the hound while the queen walk. She just goes absolutely nuts. Draws out a heat seeker. So lots of tricks and traps here. <laughs> Wall breakers coming down. Again, more um, more troll traps. Does well. Spots that um, cannon there. I like that. That must have been a uh, clan castle hound. Oh. This baby dragon's doing a lot of work there on the trash. The expo is giving uh, a bit of grief. Now, it pops the queen ability on the enemy king. Still has to get through a lot of hit points here, but because a lot of the air defense was gone, um, it made a really good baby dragon cleanup. So, great, uh, great first war, Thrasher. Um, 
yeah, I guess I am very tired. You can hear it. I'm a little bit flat. Uh, first war back to record in quite a while. Um, expect more. Expect me back into the CWL and the MLCW. So absolutely awesome war from Aussie Addicts. Um, thanks, Team WBT, and we will see you in the future. Have a party. Let's get it started. Go ahead, shake it. I'm looking for a girl with a body and a sexy strip. Wanna get...